Good morning. I just want to show you that Jack Frost has been in the night. Yeah, the camera's just not picking up how beautiful it is, but it is just lovely. There's the steam coming off the heating. <laughs> it's cold this morning. Very cold. Decking's all white and frosty, and the rooftops are all white and frosty. <coughs> Sun's not long been up. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. It's beautiful. I'm not going to turn the camera around because it's not pretty sight. John's making bread this morning, so we're going to have some nice bread with some camembert for lunch. I bought him this dough scraper from Lakeland, Lakeland for Christmas. Because he loves making his bread, I thought I'd buy him a dough, dough scraper. And he uses the um, River Cottage Magic Dough recipe, which is from the um, River Cottage Veg Everyday book. And it's really nice. Um, I've made this bread, this mixture before, and I made, um, <coughs> it depends how thin you spread it, I've made like three pizzas with it, but this makes just like one loaf in that tin, doesn't it really, yeah. if you want it nice and risen and stuff, so, yeah, that's what he's doing on this frosty morning, it's like eight o'clock in the morning, and he's making bread for a lunch, so it's got time to rise, Decking all frosty, 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 frosty. So it's definitely a slipper morning, but luckily someone bought me some slippers for Christmas. So that's just as well, because this floor gets so cold. So, so cold. So it's, um, ignore the fact that it's like first thing in the morning, eight o'clock in the morning, and I look rough when I'm in my pajamas, but there we go. Um, so it's three days left. I can't believe it's Christmas has been and gone and now we're looking forward to the new year it's just crazy and um, you know when I look at it on the stairs when I started when I started vlogmas and stuff I've had like ups and downs with it like one minute I've been like I mean I've really enjoyed sharing with you guys I really have don't get me wrong at all like it's been I have enjoyed vlogmas overall um, it's just I'm getting to the point now where I'm like starting to run out of stamina <laughs> um so yesterday's vlog was really short because uh, it's difficult because to me i don't necessarily feel fine that we're like necessarily doing anything interesting because i mean john's at home and we're just taking the advantage of being at home and kind of just relaxing together i mean john has um a stressful job and works really hard and so it's nice for him to have like two weeks off and just be able to make bread that he enjoys doing and read his book and watch the telly and, and stuff like that. So so like we're really relaxed and enjoying our week, but then I realise that that's really not necessarily as great content for Vlogmas. So I apologise about that. But then as I've said so many times, this is our life and it's real life, so you know. That's what you get. <laughs> and we're very much home bunnies. Um, we love just being at home and and pottering around and sort of, you know, going back to kind of um, more simple, simple things, really. We like just cooking and reading and, you know, that's the sort of thing that feeds our souls. So that's what we, that's what we do. We're just very much home bunnies and stay at home and potter. <coughs> So yeah, not sure what we're doing today. So bloody cold. John was thinking about going back out again for another walk and taking the big camera out and trying to get some better pictures of the birds. But it's blooming freezing. So I don't know what we're going to do. Don't know what we're going to do today. I really want to film the first part in the um, in that series I talked about the other day for my other channel because. Oh, I go to bed at night and I close my eyes and ideas are whirring around in my head. And I know I could write them down, which would probably help. But I don't script any of my videos because um, 
I think it flows more naturally, more natural, more naturally. It's more authentic when it just comes out how it's intended. So that's why I'm not really writing anything down, but it's there. And I want to kind of get it out soon before <laughs> before I forget it. So I'll probably, I'll, I might do that today. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm not sure what we're going to do. But I'll try and make more of an effort today than I did yesterday to kind of vlog more about our everyday life and what we're and what we're doing and stuff because yesterday's vlog was so short um, and it's three days to go so let's give it that last little last little push so so yeah catch up with you later John's building up his arm muscles by kneading the bread it's a good action you've got going on there thank you you in the rhythm? Yeah. That's the thing with kneading bread, isn't it? Once you're, really, once you're in the rhythm, you kind of, you know, it gets easier. Actually, I'm really impressed there's no flour on the floor. Because you often put a lot of flour on the floor when you're making bread, don't you? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and sometimes you weld dough to my sink as well, don't you? I haven't got to that stage yet. No. Yeah, John has his... Uh, I love this man's bits. He is amazing and gorgeous. And he makes wonderful bread. But he does have a habit of welding little bits of bread dough to my sink while, when he washes his hands. And for some reason, I can never get them off. <laughs> but his bread's amazing. And he's amazing. He's such a lovely man. There you go. It's on YouTube, public record, that you're an amazing man. You haven't done your hair yet today, though. Yeah, that's got, just got out of bed. He's just got out of bed. <laughs> oh, but at least we're going to have um, fresh bread for, for lunch, which will be yummy, 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 yummy. Betty is chewing on her house. What are you doing? Oh, no, it's not. I apologise. The rabbit's trying to beat down the box. Mm -hmm. They want to come out. Right, let's let them out. It's half nine in the morning, but I thought I would try this chocolate flake tea that John bought me for Christmas. I don't know if you can see it very well. They're in these like, really nice little muslin, ba muslin bags. But there's, oh, there you go, there, look, there, that, there is a piece of chocolate. It's black tea with flakes of chocolate, and I've lost it now. There it went, there it went. So there's not a lot of chocolate in there, but there is some bits of chocolate. It's just to serve it with milk, or on its own. I think it'd be sort of too bitter for me on its own. Um, but I'm going to see. Oh, I hate that when the tag falls in the tea. Oh, I wrapped it round the candle and everything. It just fell in. Ah, hot. So yeah, we'll 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 see how it goes. So I guess you need to leave it for long enough for the chocolate to melt. I don't know. Does it say? Does it say one. Hmm. Hmm. For at least three minutes, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see, let's see what it looks like. Oh, I can see the chocolate starting to melt. I can see that. Cool, let's see how it goes. So oh, she's gone again. So I just show you that the rabbits have just had carrot, and it's really cute because after they've eaten carrot, they have a little red, little orange stain on their chests because they tend to put the carrot in between their. In between their legs. There you go, you can see Nibbles' carrot stain. There's your carrot stain, Nibs. Oh, I thought it was so cute. I just wanted to share it with you because it's cute. half bad actually I let it brew for ages but didn't really go much for dark um, color it actually tasted quite vanilla-y and it was very much tasted very much like their um, like the tea pigs rubus rubus tea um, yeah it was pleasant I was just expecting it to be sort of more 
chocolatey than that. So, but yeah, yeah, it was pleasant anyway. I'll, obviously, I'll keep trying it, and um, you know, I'll do a review in it when I do my usual um, tea vlogs. Finished this book this morning. I literally had ten pages left to read, so um, I just had drunk my cup of tea and finished it off. Oh my goodness, people! It was amazing, absolutely amazing. And oh, it covered. It, obviously, it was about the um, the demon. I'm just telling. I'm just let me just quickly. Yeah. Okay. So it's the demon. Yeah. I just wanted to double check what it says on the back because I don't want to give any spoilers. Um, but it also covered things like witches and fairies um, and brownies and yeah, all kinds of sort of fantasy figures. It was amazing. I was just hooked. I could not put it down. And I realised this it, during Vlogmas. This is my third book that I've read during Vlogmas. Because um, I read The Vampire Shrink and I read the second one to The Vampire Shrink, which was Blood Therapy, and then this one. Now, the third in The Vampire Shrink series comes out on the 2nd of January, and I've got that on pre order with Amazon, so that will be here next week. And halfway through reading this, I this is a really old copy, so it didn't say that there were any other books in the you know, any other books in this series, but. Halfway through, I googled Carol Goodman because I really, really enjoyed this book. I wanted to see what else she'd done. Only to find out there are another two books now in this series. So, I ordered them from Amazon on the marketplace. They were, I've ordered second-hand copies. I think they were £2 each. And they haven't come yet. So, so I've got two series that I'm hanging in the loop. The Vampire Shrink and this Fairwick. It's set in a place called Fairwick. So they call it the Fairwick Trilogy. But it's, a, you know, um, so yeah, so I've now got to decide what to read in before my other books come. So I don't think I'm going to read any more vampire books because I don't want to get confused with the vampire shrink when it comes. So my husband very kindly bought me the, um, hang on, I'll just go get it. So for Christmas, my husband very kindly bought me this um, biography of Melissa Joan Hart. I love her. I have a complete girl crush on her. I am a massive fan of Clarissa Explains It All and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Um, and when I saw she'd written an autobiography, I put it on my Christmas list and I was like, please, John, please, I want it so badly. Um, and he very kindly bought it for me for Christmas. So I'm probably going to read this next because it's totally different. So I thought that would be quite a good interlude because... When I'm reading books, I I kind of really like to read, if I know there's a trilogy, I like to read them in sequence so I don't kind of get confused. So this will be a nice, um, a nice break. I just, I don't know why, I just find, I just, I don't know, I just like to keep it all coherent and I like to do one boom, boom, boom after the other because I like to keep the continuity and I don't want to kind of like, I find it hard to sort of jump around, so... Yeah, I don't know if I've explained it. Explained it very well, but books are my vice. I I just I could spend all my money on books, but um <laughs> I'm terrible, but I tend to pick up a lot of really good bargains either on the um Amazon marketplace or in charity shops. We've got a local nature reserve that sells four paperbacks for a pound, which is just crazy ridiculous. Um and then my books I either give to um, my friend who's really into reading or I give back to the charity shop. So Because I can't possibly keep all the books I read. It would just be far too many. There she, that's John's books that he got for Christmas. He'd already, he's already read that one, but he's now on this hell of a journey. Hell of a journey on foot through the Scottish Highlands in winter by Mike Cawthorn. John likes non-fiction, um, particularly travel books, travel writing or nature books or um, books about sort of self-sufficiency or gut living off-grid, those kind of books he's really into. Whereas I'm heavily into fiction, but really like heavily fantasy stuff like witches and vampires. So yeah, really lucky that he's a bookworm as well. So 
can do, we can just snuggle up and spend hours reading, which is great. But yeah, John's bread's rising lovely, so it's still freezing cold, there's still frost everywhere today, and I think it's just going to be one of those cold days. So we're having a change of plan, <laughs> as things happen like that in our house. Um, we're not having John's bread with Callum Beth for lunch today, we're going out to the pub with John's mum and dad. They just rung us up and said, do you fancy going out? Oh, we were like, yeah, sure. So we're going to have the... Um, Gonna have the bread for tea tonight, but I just wanted to show you. I don't know if you can see it very well. I used, put, did my makeup, and I've used the um, new French Connection palette that John bought me for Christmas. I don't know if it's really showing up very well. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> John's laughing at me because I'm like, can you see it? Can you see it? I've just washed my hair, so it's all a bit, you know, whatever. But um. I can't hold the camera and show you kind of at the same time, but anyway, you get the gist. I'm really loving it. Gone with a smoky pink and grey eye today. Oh, this doesn't let me. Oh, there you go. You can see that better. There you go. There you go. And I love it. Really love it. It's really pigmented, blended, lovely. Looked really good on. So yeah, I've got a grey top on. I like. I wear a lot of grey. I like grey. It's quite neutral. Um. So yeah, grey top and then. Pink and pink and grey eyes. Oh, it's so hard to look in the mirror and then try and show you at the same time. Ta -da. Hey guys, we're back from lunch with John's mum and dad at the village pub, which was really very nice. Um, just had fish and chips, very nice. And I thought, well, um, well, I've got some makeup on and I'm looking fairly decent. Fairly decent, okay. Um, I thought I would film a um, video for my other channel, the one that I keep going on about that I really want to do so that it's up and ready for the Friday the 3rd, the start of the Friday Back series. So just going to get ready to, um, to sort that out basically. And um, I have a giveaway for that video as well. Um, sneaky peeky, sneaky peeky. Yes, that's two fine faxes for a giveaway. I know, I know, too generous. Um, so yeah, I need to sort that out and I need to get my tripod up and all that kind of stuff. So I'll show you that in just two seconds. My desk is a mess again, but it's okay because no one is gonna see that. So basically I have my chair there and I have my um tripod there so no one really gets to see see the desk they just get to see my see my backsplash but I'm kind of just gonna all them trolls are falling over so I was just gonna kind of tidy this up a little bit. I mean I don't really do much for um for videos because I like to kind of keep it realistic <laughs> because you know what that's what it is but um just kind of move some of it a little bit so it's not kind of really really messy um i'll do i'll put an, i'll put another bunny behind me just so it looks nice so if you watch the other video you'll see my see three bunnies um yeah so got my lights on there and my light on under my desk and the blind open um so it gets quite a bit of light in it's getting dull i should have done this a bit later really but never mind so let's get cracking video done that's better i can sleep better tonight ha 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 um i've edited half of it but i'm gonna edit the rest i'm gonna edit the rest later because i can't bother now gonna go and spend time with my man and he's gonna put that bread on because i'm starving now <laughs> I know we had a big lunch, but I'm hungry again. That's so bad. But then I figured by the time he cooks the bed. Um, yes. I wanted to say that obviously I showed you my very messy desk. Hmm. Um, I can't remember your name. I'm really sorry because um, I forgot to look before I started it. Asked me about keeping a desk tidy after creating and working and kind of. When it gets too busy, it then becomes too much of a 
like you know when you look at it again you kind of think ah, and you cut through the wood for the trees then you then you lose all the motivation to sort it out get it sorted and everything so she asked me about my tips and everything and I'm just thinking like it's funny because on the one hand I'm like oh my god I'm so messy and then all of a sudden I'll have a blitz and sort it out so I haven't replied to your comment yet but I need to think about kind of doing a video on that because it's one of those things that like I feel like I need to practice what I preach and I am quite messy but it's almost organised mess and everything has a place to put stuff so I just need to have a think about how what I can talk about and how because it kind of works for me it like it looks like a mess now but everything has its right piles and and yeah in a way so that I then feel like I can sort it out so let me think about it for a little while and then I'll do a video on it I promise um but yeah I just need to kind of think about it a bit and kind of put it because to me it just I just do it do you know what I mean it just comes natural and I just do it so yeah I need to think about a way in which I can put that across in a video I wanted to show you, I've been doodling while I was editing. I want to show you, I've been thinking, because obviously, you know, I do my file facts inserts that I sell on Etsy, and I've been wanting to do a guinea pig one for a while now. And I've actually had an email from a lovely lady who wanted one as well, so I thought I need to kind of sit down and work on that a little bit more and perfect it a bit more so I've just been doing some sketching and I thought I would show you them um, I need to just refine them and then I'm going to make them into inserts to sell so but I just want to show you my gibbies hold on this is the first little chappy which I think looks more like a hamster but I think he's quite cute he, as I say these are only sketches um, they need to be refined I just do my sketches in a HB pencil and then when I make them into my inserts, I um, I then do them in a black pen on pure white paper. And then I um, photograph them and put them into Photoshop. A lot of graphic designers use a Wacom tablet to create directly into Photoshop or whatever. But I don't do that. I'm still a pen and paper girl. And then I tidy them up in Photoshop. Um, so that's this one. And this is my guinea pig. There he is. Here's his little bottom nose. So yeah, this you're looking at the first preview of one of the designs that will be on the next lot of Filofaxia's little guinea pig chap or chapet. Um so yeah, that's gonna be in progress. So um at some point I need to make them into inserts, which I will do soon. Um yeah, because as I said, someone's someone's requested requested them so and I had every intention of making them anyway and I wanted some so yeah it wasn't like wasted work or anything it was something that I wanted to do and hey an excuse to draw is good with me you know you don't have to ask me twice to get to get drawing so but I'm happy with the one I just showed you with his little, his little oh I love him this one this one I'm happy with him so yeah He's going to be turned into inserts, which will be available in the shop soon. Um, yeah. So hopefully John's going to get that bread on, and then we can have food. Yeah. And I wonder why I'm overweight sometimes. <laughs> That's a whole other video for a whole other day. Um, see you later. Bye. There's John's bread. Look at that yummy scrummy. Done a good job there, boy. We're just going to have this with our melted camembert. Mm.